Finley, how are you doing? William, how are you, buddy? I'm all right, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you've got a new colleague joining you in the front row union, TT Tui Maga from Samoa. So you'll be welcoming him to Galway soon. I'll be well. I, I am happy to have uh, anyone join the front row club. It's a really prestigious club, one that we've uh, one that we kind of really enjoy here, and we have really good banter and really good crack. And uh, I'm sure, no doubt, he'll uh, he'll fit in nicely. Yeah, you live in your own world in the, in in that place. It's uh, the front row is something special. So uh, I'm sure we're he'll different breeds, William. We're different breeds. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I would agree. I've met a few of you over the years, yes. Listen to me, that, that, was, that was a good win on Saturday evening. What's the, what's the mood around the camp uh, this morning? Yeah, look, it's, um, it was great, firstly, to come out. And uh, it was my first game back having supporters in a very long time. And um, I suppose to get a win and a bonus point against a, a tough ball side. And it was, it was really special. And everyone's in good form coming in. Everyone's bouncing into work on... Uh, on yesterday and Monday, and we're ready to tap the Dragons this week. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a good camp at the moment. It was a, I mean, you make slow enough start. They went seven up, but that, I mean, after that, either defensively or on attack, you, you, the work rate was huge by Connacht in that game. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough slog that game. Like they came out pretty fast and uh, you obviously got that early score, like you mentioned, but uh there's some huge like tackle stats from some of the forwards like Jordan Duggan made like over 20 tackles, which is pretty outrageous uh, for a 60 minute shift. So um, the boys really dug in deep. And I suppose when you got back to back defensive sets and everyone's like in the trenches together and we're celebrating those little victories, it's um, I think that, like that feeling in there is just something that you know, we really love. We love that feeling where we're around the pump and we're defending like our lives depend on it and, so we come out with a penalty like before half time, and that just, just gives everyone that little bit of buzz and energy. And even though you've just defended for 20, 20, 20 sets or something ridiculous, and um, it was a it was a good place to be. And that gave you the launch pad then for the second half because um, you played some really attractive rugby in, in in that second half, seized their chances, and in in the end, it was a very comprehensive win. Yeah, like we. Um, we just held the ball really well and um, we kind of played to our identity, which was really pleasing. And for me, like the, the game plan now is like really suits, suits myself and get to get my hands on the ball. And um, we've got some, the two Toms out in the midfield and Mac and the rest of the boys doing their thing. And it's uh, like when he was running, doing his, his little run up the sideline there, I was standing in the 50. I was just like, wow, go boy, go. And um, like, but those things, like I was saying in defense, like it's really infectious and, um, you know, when, when we're on song like that, it's so enjoyable and you're not thinking, oh, geez, I'm pretty bollocks here. You're like, fuck, I just want to get on the ball and um, do I want to do the next job for the teammate around you? And it, it's a really special, it's a really special feeling. Sorry, I swore there, by the way. That's all right. We can edit that. We just, finished, we just finished training, so you can imagine. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, there was a few few expletives <laughs> flying around down there. Yeah. Uh, Devault De Senegal. Uh, Paul Boyle told me uh, last week when we were chatting to him um, that he's driving you pretty hard. Uh, it's it's pretty demanding. So, so how, what difference has he made and how are you finding the new, the new coaching sort of situation? Yeah, Devolt's a legend. I've um, I've really, really uh, enjoyed working him thus far, and everything that he's brought, and um, everyone around, everyone, all the players are really enjoying what he's brought in. And there's a real hard edge um, to what we're doing. Like I know more defense was a bit of a issue throughout the year, but it's kind of like what I was saying again with the defense. It's like when we're in the trenches and we do a really good job, that just brings up the mood, and you kind of get a hunger for it that you want to go at it again, and um, like I was saying, I've really enjoyed working with Devolt. Um, and I suppose the big thing now is like we had a good performance there on Friday, but it's about consistency for us. And um, we had a tough old Moreland session again this morning. So we're definitely not resting on our laurels at all. We're, look, we're looking to improve everywhere we can and every little tidy up that we can make, we'll, we'll look to, to make it and keep improving the things that we've done well. And just looking at the Dragons, um, they've 
it's hard to know what to make of that game. I mean, Leinster made an awful lot of mistakes in it last Sunday, but the, the Dragons are they're very dogged. They tend to drag you down to play their way. Are, are you hoping that the extra physicality and speed that you can bring will, will be the way that Connacht can get past them? Yeah, Dragons are an incredibly tough team. I've never had a game against them where, where you completely feel in control. Um, so it's, it's going to be a difficult task for us there on Saturday, but we're going to stick to our rugby identity, play fast um, and look to be really physical in those contacts and look to kind of build, you know, like a defensive side of things that we did last week. And um, again, it's just really important for us as consistency. Like we've had a big, big emphasis on that this week that we're not a, uh, pat ourselves on the back we're looking to improve and um we're definitely definitely looking at having a kind of better well-rounded performance again on set on saturday well that's we're looking forward to it it's another game at the sports ground so hopefully you'll give the crowd something to get behind they, they had a great time on uh, friday night there thanks for talking to us finley and we'll talk again soon and william it's uh on saturday i'm turn the big 3-0 so it's a really special day um so i'm looking forward to Saturday, more so the game, but not turning 30. Um, but yeah, just I'll throw that in. Um, uh, I, I absolutely throw it in. I wish, uh, I wish I could say I was turning 30. <laughs> like I tell you, that was a very, very long time ago for me. <laughs> well, listen, have a great performance <laughs> and uh, have a, a lemonade or two afterwards to celebrate that. It's, it's all uphill after, after 30. <laughs> I might celebrate and have like a Caesar salad with the sauce on the side and something really healthy in there. Like that, that'll do. Really that'll do. Listen, you enjoy it, mate. And um, <laughs> we'll enjoy Saturday evening. Talk to you yeah. soon. Thanks, William. Good to hear you, man. Cheers. Thanks. Anyone else for that? Uh, hi, Finley. Dave Finn here. First of all, 30 is young. It's very <laughs> young. And, as for, and for a prop, I mean, we've seen props go on to 35, 36 and get better. I mean, look at Keen Healy. Um, from you, you mentioned the mall defense. Certainly, the mall, the, the the Bulls, and to a certain degree, Card have got very little return with their mall against you um, in the last two games. I'm just thinking, what has changed in as much as you can tell us without going into state secrets? What do you think has changed? Has it been a completely different mindset? Is it just been little tweaks? And how much is that was is is that entirely through Devold, or did you, did you guys come together? At, over the course of the last six months and say, look, we need to work on this? I think we kind of came out last season and, like, it's pretty obvious that more defence was definitely a big work on for us. And, um, like, for me and for the boys, like, getting mauled and getting tries against you, it's, like, playing rugby, it's pretty – it's a physical game. And to get done in that area of the pitch, like, that the scrum is, like, one of the areas that you – can physically match your opposition and to get outmatched and getting more tries against shit, it's, it's a pretty, pretty dark place. So um, definitely like a mindset change that we're not letting them, we're not letting them score. We can do everything we can. And then a few little tweaks on top of that in terms of system. But at the end of the day, I find in those physical battles like that, a lot of it comes down to mindset and kind of how you're going to approach that more. Like if you're going to come in half assed or if you're going to come in and, um, make an impact. So a lot of I think is is mindset with within the system. Indeed, and I suppose the other thing I, I took from from the weekend was the, the celebration of the tries. It seems to be great team spirit. Does does that sort of every you know the, the, the good team spirit? Does that allow you to you know maybe try things, the offloads, the, the support lines? Does that give you encouragement to do those because you know you have the back end of the rest of the guys? Yeah, well, when I see Mac making all these runs, I get a little bit jealous. So. Um, I made an offload myself um, just to be like, look, some of us bigger lads can kind of pull that off. But um, the way we're playing, it's a really infectious, infectious game plan. And um, like I was saying before, like you want to get your hands on the ball. You want to offer yourself for the team. And um, it's just really enjoyable, to be honest. Like you just want to be involved. You just want to offer yourself, if, even if you're not getting the ball, if you're off the ball that you're, you know, if I'm showing on the short side that, Geez, I might open up something somewhere else or someone else to kind of get their chance to shine. So it's definitely like a 15 man attacking mindset. Excellent. And um, listen, well, good luck on good luck on Saturday and um have a an early happy birthday. Thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll go into embargo for tomorrow morning. We'll open the floor. Uh Finlay, how are you doing? Uh, John here. Um 
happy birthday in advance as well. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned that. <laughs> no, no, no. It, we, we spoke to Dave Kilcoyne in Munster last week and he told us he wanted to play until he was 40. Um, is that some an ambition you would have as well? If Killer wants to play the 40, I'll play the 41. Okay, okay. You go with uh, But it, seriously though, uh, I'm loving my rugby at the moment and I try and take care of myself as best I can. I feel that I've still yet to reach my prime as a prop. I still feel like I have lots of work and I'm really ambitious in achieving the maximal ceiling height that I can have. And um, I feel like age is just a, a number at the end of the day. And as long as I can show off a training week in, week out and have that hunger and drive, um, the age is irrelevant. Yeah, and it's less so for, for a prop in fairness, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, the scrummaging is the main thing. And I keep telling Dave Howarth, our strength, our strength and conditioning coach, I keep saying, well, strength is the last thing to leave an athlete. So thank God I'm not uh, fast twitch fiber or anything like that. I'll keep me strength for a while. So, uh, yeah, we'll hope, we'll hope my theory is correct. The, the other thing, just the last one for me, um, we see where Keen Healy is switching, switching sides. You've done that before. How, how difficult is it? And do you want to, do you want to remain at a, a, a number three at this stage or are you willing to still go back to, to Lucy? Yeah, it's, it, it's completely different. Um, in my opinion, um, obviously there's pressure coming in, in different angles and, you kind of have to manipulate the opposite number in a certain way, which is obviously different than if you're loose or tight it. But certainly I see myself as a tight it first and foremost and um, with the ability to cover loose if need be. Um, but you yeah, had to see Church doing it now. Like he's he was killing it there at the weekend and uh, I was chatting to him as well. And um, he seems to be really relishing that tight head role. So, um, yeah. I, I'm detecting the reluctance to go back to, to a Lucy? Uh, I would rule it out now, but um, I feel like I've been doing tight a long time and I've played at tight head at a very high level and I feel really confident um, in myself in that position. And that's not to say if I got an opportunity at Lucy that I, I would be, I wouldn't take it like I'd take any opportunity I can get. But um, yeah, first and foremost, tight head and with the ability to cover Lucy if, if need be. Fair play. Have a great day, Saturday. Thank you very much. Hi, Finley. How are things? <clears throat> Good, brother. How are you? Not too bad. Just on that, do you, like, do you see Andrew Porter switching back to loose and maybe opening a bit of a gap there at the tight head side of things? And, and obviously, you had a, a pretty good summer. I remember chatting to you after one of the games and it went well for you. Is there a bit of an opening there now, do you think, with Porter going back to loose? Um, I guess I guess there is. Like, I suppose like he's playing loose now at the start of the season. And, um, but with that been too cliche, like I, I try not to think about that kind of stuff and um, really just focus on my process week in, week out and trying to reach the ceiling that I have and trying to get as far as possible and improve myself and offer myself um, as best I can around the pitch. And um, as long as I know that if I do that, I'm going to put myself in the best position possible to put my hand up for Ireland selection. And ultimately that's, where I want to be as a player and um, hopefully now we've got like three more games till that, that November series and that's obviously a goal of mine is to make that and uh, we'll obviously try and play as well as possible in them three games and we'll see what happens. What did the, the couple of the games in the summer do for your sort of confidence levels in terms of coming back hitting the ground running with, with Connacht that must have, must have been a nice boost for you? Yeah, oh man, like playing that first game against Japan and getting start against Japan like they're a class outfit and to be given the nod to start in the number three jersey and to play in front of the Beaver and in front of a crowd there it was a really special moment in my, my career and um, I suppose then playing the USS, USA game off the bench and getting a run in that and it just gave me really good confidence and I got more confidence again from being in camp and working with the coaches and getting to know everyone better and to get to know what a thousand uh, all the other coaches wanted from me as a player and um yeah cheers best of luck to again <laughs> thank you very much man hi finley uh neil here in rt um i just wanted to ask you about something jay quite the bulls coach would have said just before kickoff he was speaking on tg car before kickoff on friday evening before he played them and he was asked about what they know about connacht and he said 
with a lot of the comic players, he said it would be similar to a lot of the franchises they have in South Africa. Now I'm quoting it here. When they don't get contracted by the big unions, they go down to the small provinces and then obviously find a way in which they can get noticed by the bigger provinces. How would how would you feel hearing that as a Connacht player? Now, I don't know if you did hear it because it was quite close to kick off when he would have said it. Uh, I heard it after, but he had to eat those words, didn't he? So, um, jokes on him. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, like we got a great bunch of lads here that are highly driven to succeed. And um, like some of the boys that have come down from Dublin, like Tom Daly, who's our player of the year last year, and he he was very unlucky not to get a cap in the summer series. And he's, now he's a Ireland squad member. Like he's been class for us. So yeah, I don't know what your man's on about. All right. Cheers, Finley. Thanks, Good luck the weekend. Thank you, my man.